all right good day everyone i want to share the little more light on my previous topic sign and cosine rule especially after being exposed to authentic learning now sign and cosine rule like um, we said before now it's a topic that helps us to find the missing sides and angles of any angles that are not necessarily right angled triangles now um, in practical cases these are angles or distances that are not you know measurable or um, they are the distances that have difficulties examples are the ones on air it would be very difficult to measure the distances on air especially without you know advanced equipment let's see um, some few practical examples using the sine and cosine rule and how it affects our everyday life let's see this now this is the tower of pisa and uh, situated in pisa in italy it is one of the wonders of the world now the tower of pisa um, is well known for its um, high tourist attraction um, recently the inclination of the of the tower was reduced to about four degrees yes from the from the vertical now we want to use the tower of pisa to cite a major example to drive home um, the practical nature of um, using the sign or the cosine rule to find distances let's go now if this is the tower of pisa and it's a very magnificent magnificent inclination right there if for instance the tower of pisa was you know gutted by fire at the base now we have this let's assume it was gutted by fire at the base and all of a sudden we noticed that there's a little girl at the top of the tower now the first thing uh, we are likely to do is to get help and the best help we can get has to be from firefighters now at a point in time the firefighters cannot jump into the fire they will have to number one fight the fire number two try to get uh, uh, try to rescue the girl at every cost so assuming they can't get very close to the fire and they still have to rescue rescue the girl at the same time now they will have to get a ladder that is long enough from where they are to where the girl is to be able to save the girl now let's come to the calculation aspect of it what do we know we know that the tower of pisa uh, is about 57 meters high you know it's about 57 meters high and uh, the inclination let's say it's about 4.5 degrees when we remove that from um, the normal vertical 90 degrees we should have 85.5 degrees and that should be to the horizontal okay now if our firefighters are about 35 meters away and they still have to save the girl remember they will not come any closer because if they do they will have they will be gutted by fire so they will stay just 35 meters away they won't come any closer than that now what they will have to do is to look for the distance between where they are and where the girl is it's just like drawing a straight line just that way now here we have we have a triangle already now most practical examples in reality will give us triangle and in good very good cases most of them might not be right angle triangle so now that we've successfully formed a triangle from a practical problem the best bet is to name our triangle if i have the triangle as a b and c and of course i put my corresponding side at this point 
you will you can see that uh, my point a from my triangle a okay from my triangle abc my side a is 35 meters my side c is 30 57 meters but my b is what i'm looking for because the length b is the length of the triangle all right now from this condition in our previous classes we learned the conditions that were necessary for sine and the cosine rule okay and from what we have here we have two sides given and an included angle and that is one of the necessary conditions for using our cosine rule so let's assume we get to use the cosine rule using our cosine rule remember what it is we learned it in one of our previous classes the cosine rule simply says b squared equals to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b given that we are looking for the side b which is the length of the ladder now if i substitute my a as 35 meters my um, side c as 57 meters and my cos b as cos 85.5 meters and i um solve that properly if i compute it properly i will have one two two five plus three thousand two hundred and forty nine minus two thousand and forty eight point seven six if i compute that properly again i should have b squared is equal to four zero six two point zero nine now four zero six point four zero six two point zero nine should give us um, the square root of 4062.09. Now, if I find the square root of that, I should be having 63.7 meters. Now, 63.7 meters will be the distance between the firefighters and the girl at the top of the building. Now, that is the safe, you know, a measurement of ladder that we need to be able to rescue the girl without getting into the fire and for the girl not you know getting um, um hot in any case so this is one of the practical examples that we can use our cosine rule to find let's just um reel through some other examples in reality okay we've just talked about the firefighters um the distance between the rangers tower and the um, water tower might be known or might not be known the distance, the distance of um, the fire to both points might and might not be known. You can also find the angles between them. So firefighters always use the sine and the cosine rule. It is also used in signal transmission in telecommunications. Now, the difference are the different um, distances between uh, um, telecommunication mast and your normal cell phones sometimes they vary the angle of inclination between them also varies now these are very simple and practical examples of how to use our sign and our cosine rule of course in aviation we talk about the distances between planes and um, you know the towers the distance between um, someone on the ground and the plane angles of elevation and depression and all that so these are some few practical examples of the use of sine and cosine rule. I must say a very big thank you for having exposed to authentic learning. And I believe I can do much more than this um, in some other classes. Thank you very much.